All right, guys, Mrs. O is flipping out. Not really, she doesn't ever really flip out, which is surprising because she's married to me. And um, her door, you know, doesn't stay latched on the old uh, Hondu here driving down the road. She's worried about the children falling out and stuff like that. But I said they should be wearing their seatbelts anyway, so let it be a learning lesson if they do, right? Um, anyhow, I've got a new door latch for it, or what they call it a closer motor assembly. It comes with the three switches and stuff that actually goes in the door. Uh, I've also got a new center hinge roller unit, uh, and we're going to change that too because I know darn well this thing's going to go bad eventually. They always do on these vans. I'm going to show you the method I use to change it, and it's on my own van, and it's on her van, so I can show you my unorthodox methods in which I use uh, without you guys faulting me too heavily for not tearing the quarter trim off and releasing the cable tension and all the textbook stuff there. Uh, so I'll split this up two videos. We'll do one on the center roller hinge, and I'll do one on the closer latch, door latch, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we'll take it from there. First thing we gotta do is uh, pop the tail light out. And it looks like we need an eight millimeters for that one. We'll get that out of the way. You gotta pull this uh, metal trim there off the side of the van to get to those rollers. I asked her if she wanted to do the job, but she's a little sick today. I had a cold for the past couple days. There's that. These things usually come out a little bit difficult, so I'll get a uh, plastic wedging device. Move you guys over here. Usually what I do is I kind of try to wedge them in there and give them a little little pop. That one came out easy. Sometimes uh, these can, can be super difficult. But I'm pretty sure this uh, lens has been replaced. Yeah, I think this is the one we replaced. Backed into something. Yeah, it is. It's the market. Depo, so fits. Uh, so then we've got a 10 millimeter bolt here on the side, or 10 millimeter socket rather. Take, get that out of the way. All right. Come around here to the front of the door. We'll get this screw. If I remember right, these screws are non magnetic. because my screwdriver tip is, that sticks to the rail. I always remember these screws are non-magnetic, so sometimes you got to reach in and grab them with a device. I'll stop the door about in that position. This piece should come off. I can't remember what way it goes. Once again, slide forward, right? Slide forward. And then you take it off, and you can see it's got the little keyway segments. I guess it's actually the bigger keyway segments that go on the plastic pieces there. All right, we'll set that down. Open the door about midway, and uh, we gotta reach behind here. Let me show you the hinge. So this here's the hinge. I just buy the. Uh, See, this is Honda. Yeah, you know it's genuine Honda because, like most Honda parts, USA made in USA, not China. We open this up. It's the unboxing. This is like an unboxing reveal. I don't even know. So I just buy this outer portion of the uh, roller. So you got your two side roller, your bottom roller, and then your hinge goes through here. Now you can buy the whole bracket that bolts to the door. There's a lot of adjustment on those. If you unhook that mark, you know, if you're gonna unhook that whole that whole hinge assembly, mark around it with a sharpie or scribe it or whatever you do. Because you're gonna want to put it back on where it was. Otherwise you gotta adjust the door and they can be a pain. They're pretty sensitive. So we're gonna change just this piece. Now technically to change this piece, you're supposed to, you're supposed to, by the book, on you know, take the whole uh, the whole bracket off, you're supposed to pull the quarter trim panel off on the inside. But that's just not going to happen. She's got too much junk in her van. So we're going to change this piece only. So we can come in here. So there's the hinge assembly. Right in the top of it, there's, you know, just a pin that runs through it. So these aren't that difficult, assuming this pin will come out. Uh, it looks like she's kept their hinges lubricated here because they've got, you know, a layer of our dirt road we live on plus, you know, some fluid film action, as you can see. Uh, so there's a C-clip on that. So we're going to pull that C-clip out. 
And I've had pretty good success getting in here and just knocking these pins out and then moving the door out of the way, changing what we got to do, beat the pin back in and good to go. Let's see if I can get this uh, C-clip off. There's no way that we can both see here. No way we can both see the C-clip because I'm going to have to hear where this thing goes flying as soon as I take it off. Or you can hear me scream when this pick goes through my finger. Oh, look at that, didn't neither of those. But there's our little C-clip. I just reach in there with a pick and like I say, listen close because you're going to send it flinging. At least the first four or five you do. Let me get a bar. So we'll take a regular regular old pry bar. And we'll, uh, I just take an old rag here. And wrap this little guy around there. This is a trick. This is a life hack, I think. I'll take a little bit of tape. I don't know if it's actually a life hack or not. That's what we do. Give that a little wrap through. All right. Now be careful because you could shatter the window, I suppose. So we stick that in there right on top of that pin. I don't know if you guys see that. We're gonna go right on top of the pin. Give me that hammer there, Mrs. Though. I'm just telling people that you're sick and they should send money. <laughs> I didn't tell them that, but they, they should. Money? You're cold? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's worth a try, I guess. Ooh, I almost broke your window. Oh my God. Come on, little fella. Uh -huh. So that pin is serrated down on the head of it, so you only got to move it a little bit and it'll go. Come on. Come on, little fella. So it's being mean. There she goes. Okay. So you got to give that a little bit of a love tap. And then we're going to take, is it dark? Can you guys see? We're going to take a little block of wood on a floor jack, stick it under the door. And I'll show you what that pin looks like on its way out. So there's the sick. Look sick, honey. If we're going to ask for money, look sick. Um, Cough. <laughs> oh, I, I hope that you. When talk, it sounds pretty awful. You do. Um, I don't know, maybe what kind of donations? $100? <laughs> What's it going to take? I need a babysitter and then, and then, let's see, and then somebody come clean my house, so I don't know how much does that cost. Clean your house? Look at your car. I don't even want to show the people. Are you kidding me? I take your dogs and your kids everywhere. Well, it, I mean, the kids are right here, the dogs are right up front, so I mean, it shouldn't be too awful bad. <laughs> they probably like to ride together. Yeah. I'm all back here. Alright, on to do our mission here. So there's the pin. It's starting to come out, and you can see, you know, like I said, that straight apart. This one's never been out. They've been out before. They do come out a little easier, but the uh, using the pad keeps us from, you know, gouging up our paint up here and, you know, beating up the trim. And like I said, be careful you don't smash the window out of it. Forget at this point, some lady in the parking lot at school the other day, door, wing open. And she's like, oh, it's fine. I was in the car, and I was like, um, well, let me come check. She did that right there? <laughs> yes. Did you give her a fat lip? No, it was an accident. Just... You're so forgiving. You're such a forgiving, kind person. <laughs> People should send money because you're so kind and forgiving. <laughs> <You're such a laughs> wow. She's like, well, do you think we need insurance coverage? Oh, that's, oh, that's not paint uh, transfer. forget that's, it. That's not paint transfer. That's like dug through to the hand. No, I know, but it's plastic, and I figure, well, my door is not going to rat out from that. So. Whatever. Fine. At this point. We'll go flatten her tires later. Just drive it till it can't go anymore anyways. That'll be pretty soon. Yeah, if you don't fix it. I'm fixing it. What do you think? Jeez. What about all the other stuff? One, one thing at a time. It's supposed to be all the things today. Today's only going to be look, one look at, thing. What we got? We got a parking lot full there. Parking lot full there. Poor Josh over there slaving away. All right. 
We left eight hours on the book for you. Dude. Well, I didn't have eight hours. I put transmission and Dodge Neon. Where, where's we're that? Do where's transmission outside? That one's done. Buick's done. Chevy's done. Most of them are actually those are all done. All right, back at it. Come on. This is a this is a professional video. All right, let's. See. You can stack up wood underneath it too, but. Or just something to hold the door once you pop that hinge loose. I like to use a floor jack here. So I usually take it up, put just a little tension on it. Right there. You don't want to go jacking the wheels up. And sometimes these pins are loose enough once you get them past that serration, serrated portion. The ser is it the serration? You can just uh, wiggle that little fella and out she comes. So that's that. And then, I'll jack it up a little bit more, just take the tension off it. My floor jack leaks down, so I should probably buy a new one. It's only 11 years old. And we can move our whole door right out of the way. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of rope, plenty of wire at the bottom. Move out of the door. I should do the closer motor today. Closer motors are a lot easier to do. These rear latches are a lot easier to do when you unhook this and pull the door out of the way. I'm not doing it, I don't know why I should. But you gotta get the chillings from school. Um, let me go turn the power door off because if I pull this, it may make things wonky. So I'll bring this little guy to the back. It'll go. Bam, little fella. Then you can take it out. Not yet, because we don't want to go banging things up here. Stick a, a protective device. As mechanics, we think rags will protect everything. So once you get it out, you do have some slack in these cables. So what I always do, I try to get one unhooked. Unhooking them is usually easier than hooking them back up. I'll show you once I get it here. So like I say, you're supposed to release the cable tension, but I don't really feel like tearing the whole inside of the van apart. To do this, grab the cable here. You can work one side out. And let her swing. And you get the other side out. So these are just, you know, they're key weighed in. You stick them in, quarter turn, whatever. They're pretty self explanatory. So there's the old roller. Now hers is not completely wasted. Obviously, it's been serviced. Uh, it's had some sort of lubrication spray on it. I think she lubes the door hinges and stuff. Uh, so this one's not wasted, but the van's got 100K on it, or 98K. Uh, at some point, this is gonna go, as they usually do, long before now. Usually about every 50K, you gotta put these on. So now we'll take the new one. Reverse the process. This is a shorter cable, so we'll put that one on. We'll slip that through. Bring this around. Like I said, it's a little trickier getting them in. Just talk nice to it. Pull it over. Get, get it up in there. It's easy to get the cable in the bottom hole. And you gotta get it all the way in like that. That's pretty much it. So they're not super difficult to do. Uh, Definitely don't bother tearing the whole van apart. Hopefully that was a good enough explanation for everybody. Uh, let's see. So now we take our rag. Uh, tick tape, I say that. These are like four cents a piece, so we want to save them little fellas. And then we can slide this back and forward. We'll scoot our door in here. Can you guys see what's going on? For the most part, let me move you folks. So we'll scoot our door in. We can actually bring our door back. We'll shimmy around. Make sure it doesn't fall off your jack at the same time. Sorry, my head's gonna have to be in the way, but jack this up a little bit more. Once you get her lined up, my galley should slip right in. She goes, baby. Let me get the. Uh, let me get a small tapping device. Start the 
protection back in here. Always use protection, folks. My, uh, I must be high. Not really. Not work. Whoa, there we go. You get her just right so it just kind of floats in there. Let it down a little more again. Whoop. There we go. That should be good. Should be able to line that pin up now. Alright, pins all the way through. Should be able to put the weight on the door. Got the full weight on the door now. I suppose when I do that motor, I can always just uh, pop that back out and see if it's gonna home itself there. Then we gotta get our seat clip back on again very carefully because you're gonna have to listen to see where the thing goes flinging to. Look at that! Wow, slipped it right in, baby. Stop right there. We'll get our white piece. Bring that around. Oh my gosh, we're getting close. There you go. I got my mitts all over this thing. We'll get our bolt started here in the back. Don't tighten that one up yet because you got to put the screw in, which is going to push the whole panel back, you know, if it will. So we'll just leave that one in loose and we'll put the screw in the front first. This is the kind of job you want to be working flat right on a Honda, let me tell you. connectors do unplug. Somebody's gonna go nuts about that. Why didn't you unplug it? I don't know. Because I can't feel the little connectors in my fat fingers maybe. I'm not sure. We'll put our screws back in the tail light. Ship this baby. You good right here? Yeah that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. How how's well come on Mrs. O let's give a closing statement. Video. Well, we know that we've already done all that. And close. What? What's the statement can I possibly make? You're sick. We need a GoFundMe thing. Remember? I thought this was about I thought we, oh, the door. Well, it is too, but we're kind of thrown in like that. Oh. And then in the upcoming video, we're going to have this little fella. Let's see. Let's open this up and have a look see. I got something to huh? They can't I know they can't see. I'm opening it off camera. It's building the suspense. The action. Ooh, look at this little fella. So we've got this it is uh, the door wow. closer motor. And then, huh? That's what? What? And that's what that looks like. So, um, like I say, this houses your switches. Do you know the name, Mrs. O, of the three switches in the door closer motor assembly? If Some you can, questions. If you can name the three switches, mm -hmm. I'll put this baby in. Free. No <laughs> obligations, no <laughs> payment, as I call it. Right. No. You can't name them? I thought you were a shop girl. The half latch switch, the full latch switch. And uh, Wait, you just that up? no, fix enough these jokers. And what else? The ratchet, 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 switch. and the ratchet 
a switch. So if any of those switches quit working, you gotta buy the whole shebang. But that'll be an upcoming video where I'll show you how to change this little fella tomorrow. Tomorrow's so when I go home, my door is still gonna pop open. Your door doesn't pop open. Ever since you told me, like, oh, my door's popping open, kids are falling out. Like, it hasn't popped open since. Yes, it has. Oh. It popped open for like a week and a half straight, and then it stopped doing it for a couple days, and now it's doing it again. Your typical customer, like, oh, ever since you changed my oil. Ever since you didn't do anything, it's still broken. Unbelievable. I'm out of here.